Hello everyone, this is Fun Police, back with the second video in the German budget deck lists. Last time we took a look at the basic starter list and then did the bare minimum in order to improve it with this starter 2 deck. For today we are going to take a look at purchasing two options, either buying the Theaters of War campaigns or the Catalyst mini expansion and then using those cards in order to upgrade our deck further. Now it is important to note, uh, since this is aimed at new players, what are Catalyst and the Theaters of War? So the Catalyst expansion is a recent expansion, that mini expansion, that was released after Breakthrough came out. It is available in the store for 250 gold or $20. 20 US dollars or whatever currency exchange it is in your country. It contains 24 unique cards, uh, one standard, a limited, a special, and an elite of each na for each nation, and then also gives two cards to France and two cards to Italy. This is a very good set if we're looking to expand our collection. Uh, in general, the, the mini expansions that we can buy in cards with gold have so far proven to be very good ways to spend your gold. Uh, unlike packs which are random, these are often preset and often contain a hand, at least a handful of high impact cards. Now, Catalyst is a mini expansion, but there is also another one in the Theaters of War which is the older one and contains some single player content. Now, you may notice that this image is only showing it available for actual money, which is $30 for me, but it is imp but in the shop it is actually possible to buy each of the five campaigns individually either for real money or with 100 gold. So, for this set, what we need today, we need to purchase the El Alamein ex or campaign for Germany and the Guadalcanal campaign for the US. That gives us all the cards we need and comes out to about 200 gold, so it is actually a tad bit cheaper than Catalyst. But it is also important to note that you are paying for overall less cards as, there are, as they are more split up into the various campaigns and you do end up getting cosmetics like new HQs, card backs, and various other things alongside the solo player content. So whether you want to spend gold on this or Catalyst is a little bit up to preference. I'll give my thoughts after we go over the deck list as to which one I think would be a better purchase for a German budget player. Heading back over to cards, we're going to now quickly take a look at the Theaters of War deck. Theaters of War, as a set, has introduced introduced a good amount of new cards into the deck. And, as such, is giving us arguably a little bit just overall card improvements. There's nothing defining now, but there is definitely an improvement in the deck. and. There are now, we are getting to the point where there are numerous ways to build these decks, and as such, I am just going to offer why I included some cards real quick, uh, but also show you why you could maybe include some of these other cards. So the three cards I have included, included in this deck are Patrol, the Panzer 3G, and the P-39 Area Cobra. I've included those as these fit well into a sort of mid-range or a semi-aggressive but also defensive nation. Patrol serves as good removal but is also great at removing guard from units in order to allow us to attack into the enemy HQ. The Panzer 3G has blitz and while in the front line has an immunity to pin making it a bit difficult for certain decks to deal with it as they will not be able to stall it out. And then the P-39 essentially has heavy armor to it against ground units, making it actually incredibly tough against anything that isn't another air unit or an order. Meaning if you can possibly get this into the front line, it could potentially shut down entire decks. 
if you've watched the last video, and if you haven't, there is an iCard up there that sh should be telling you to go watch it. Uh, we built a somewhat of a good stuff deck, running just a mixture of aggressive units based around finishing the game with Blitzkrieg, but then also running a decent amount of late game power in order to not fall behind due to our lack of a collection. We are still largely... We are still running that late game package as we still do not have enough cards, but due to stuff like the Panzer 3G and similar things, we are able to run a bit more of an aggressive start. And so overall, the deck should probably be playing the same as the last one, uh, play aggressively, take the front line, use Blitzkrieg to kill people. If that doesn't work, try to play out your big units and win through them. Uh, there are also some other options you can choose. For example, the 2-5 Marines are a relatively okay 2-drop. If you feel like you could cut a couple US cards, you could very easily include them into a deck. Uh, they're decently statted already, and they deal double damage to units in the front line, which as a new player means that these essentially are going to kill the majority of things in the front line. It's a cheap but effective trader into decks. Africa Core is also a very effective card. It enables a... it gives us a bit of value by allowing us to practically get one of three random German elites into our hand. German elites are generally quite powerful, uh, and because we get three of them, we're pretty likely to find something we want. Uh, those can either, they can be aggressive in stuff like the Panzer 3L, or they could even be a, more of a control tool, such as the ever-powerful and present Leopold. It's a great option uh, if you're looking to take the deck a little bit slower overall. Oop, my bad. Uh, the Wesp is also another option uh, to include in your deck. I didn't because the deck is quite heavy on 3-drops. However, if you wanted to cut the Panzer 3Gs as they're not performing for you, the Wesps could be a good option for you. A 3-credit three 3-3 three artillery for a new player is quite effective and overall could prove to be quite useful. We can also run Pursuit. This retreats an enemy unit and lets our units operate for cheaper. It is a decent little aggressive card, and due to our high number of tanks and low operating cost units, it could prove to be quite the effective card at bouncing a guard back to hand and then letting us get some free attacks and damage on the enemy HQ. If you wanted to go in the slower route, Root Out the Enemy is also an option. Uh, this is a essentially a 4 credit deal two damage to all enemy units. Uh, you have to be careful about not killing your own things, but in a slower deck, this can be very useful at sniping off either a bunch of small enemy units or finishing off a big one that you were unable to kill without it. Exploit the Gap is a card I would avoid. Uh, it is sadly just a bit too weak right now, and we cannot build a deck that is based around it, so I would not include this in the deck. But most of the other cards, uh, you could probably fit into this deck. So that is the Theaters of War. Now we'll move on to the Catalyst deck. The Catalyst deck is a bit different. Due to how we have gotten what we get from Catalyst, which are things like the 5th Panzer Grenadier and the Panzer 3F, we are actually committing almost fully to an aggressive mid-range deck. As you see, our curve actually stops at 6 credits. We have cut the various expensive late game US cards in favor of more cheap tanks alongside the new cards and are looking to more effectively beat down the enemy quickly and commit more to the Blitzkrieg win condition. So. We include it. So now, just to go over the cards we have in here, the 5th Panzer Grenadier is a cheap way to give any unit in the game Fury. This card can be incredibly powerful with Blitzkrieg, allowing you to double up on the damage. This can easily lead to Blitzkrieg dealing 10 damage on a single unit, if you can spend the 5 credits to get this. It's a very powerful card. Reich Research is 
a very effective tool that is just generally quite powerful. For those that are new, research is a very, very powerful and effective weapon. It is able to be both cheap removal while also giving us various late game options. If you were watching over in the little panel that was changing, you can see all of the options for it. Some of them are cheap removal, such as the V1, while stuff like the Type 21 U-Boat is an incredibly powerful removal tool that also rips the enemy hand apart. I would avoid going to the 12 credit Uran project in this card, but the first three options all have their uses. And in general, we are just essentially use, planning to use this as removal, and if we can, or if the game drags out, we can use it as a value tool by going for the U-Boat. The Panzer 3F is the biggest card, though. This is an incredibly powerful uh, unit, able to buff all of our tanks by giving them plus one, plus one on deployment. Our German tanks also gain Blitz, meaning stuff like the Panzer 38 and the Flame Panzer are now going to immediately be able to move and attack, and it itself has Blitz, all together in a very effective little three credit package. This is one of the biggest enablers for German tank aggro, and by getting Catalyst you're able to start really committing to that deck and getting a pretty potent build going. If you wanted to then, beyond that, we've also included a couple Shore Bombardment. Shore Bombardment is not that strong of a card overall, but it is a decent little card for this deck, uh, giving us either removal or a cheap buff. It's definitely one of the weaker cards in the deck, and if you don't feel like this is performing for you, I can totally see cutting it for something else, but assuming with how limited we've built this deck it's a decent enough little card and then the final card is the Fock Wolf 190 Yag Bomber which is a very effective five drop able to bounce any enemy ground unit to the enemy hand most often you're going to use this to bounce guards out of your way to keep the while deploying a unit to keep the pressure up similar in form to something like the Panzer 4 F2 but this is also more powerful in that it is able to bounce units in the front line, meaning if the enemy has put something that you're having trouble removing, you can send it back to their hand and get control of the front line again. It is a very powerful elite and is definitely worth including in practically all German decks on a budget once we have it. Overall, uh, the deck is now more centered around this aggression. Uh, we are not looking to keep the game going for too long. We have some mid-game drops in order to keep the enemy under control, but we are really looking to build a strong board and then using buffs like the Panzer 3F, the 5th Panzer Grenadier, and Blitzkrieg to kill the enemy quickly. That is the ultimate goal and what we should be striving to do. Now, the question comes down to which of the two expansions you should buy for this deck. Theaters of War or Catalyst. And if you have to ask me, I would say that for a German budget player, Catalyst is the superior option. Catalyst is overall providing more potent cards for Germany, including many cards that are currently seeing play in the top levels of competitive in the German tank aggro decks. The Panzer 3F, the 5th Panzer Grenadiers, and the Jag Bomber are three cards that all are incredibly powerful and very useful. Theaters of War, although having more German cards, sadly falls a bit short. The cards aren't bad for the current level, but as you get more and more competitive, they get worse and worse. It is so, it is important to decide, but both options can give you viable ways to further your collection. Now, with that out of the way, that is going to be it for this video. Next time, we are going to take a look at three lists. These are three aggressive decks that all aim to be 
quite powerful and are notably going to have the least amount of restrictions on them. So make sure to tune in for that as that will practically be the end of our journey with a German budget deck lists. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave comments. It helps me keep this channel growing and knows that you enjoy it and that I know you enjoy it. Uh, I've only started out, but hopefully we can turn this into a nice community and overall just make it an exciting time. I plan to... Uh, Legion is still being revealed, and it seems that the card reveals are starting to ramp up, so expect more videos on that soon, and, event, and next time, I'll see you around. Have a good day.